Today is the 17th Sunday after Pentecost. Hi, church school families. We are back in the classroom this week. And this week's story from Godly Play is about the Holy Family. We often don't talk about the Holy Family until we're preparing our hearts to get ready for Christmas. But the Holy Family is central to our faith. Understanding them and knowing them and their story help us to understand that when God sent Jesus, everything changed. Let's begin. This is the Holy Family. Sometimes when you see something like this, it might be in your home, it could be fragile, you might need to ask for permission to use it or touch it. In this classroom, the Holy Family is yours to work with, to play with, to touch. So when you're back in the classroom, know that it is here for you. We're gonna begin taking the pieces down. This is the Christ child. He is holding out his arms to give you a hug. This is the mother Mary. This is the father Joseph. Here is the donkey that Mary rode when she and Joseph went to Bethlehem to be counted by the Roman soldiers. Mary was about to have a baby, so it was hard for her to walk. Sometimes she rode on the donkey. It is also hard to ride on a donkey when you're about to have a baby, so sometimes she got down and walked. Here is the cow that was in the stable when the baby was born. He was surprised to find a baby in the feed box, the manger where he usually found his breakfast. Here is the shepherd who saw the great light in the sky at night. There were more shepherds than this, but we will put down one to remind us. Here are some of the sheep. There were more, but these will do to help us remember. When they saw the light in the darkness, they were afraid. I would be too. Then they heard singing. That scared them too until they heard the words. The angels sang that they came to bring peace on earth and goodwill to all people. The shepherds were to go to Bethlehem, and they did. These are the three kings. They were so wise that people thought they were magic. In their language, they were called the Magi. And the word is the word we get our word magic from. They knew so much, but of all of the things they knew, they knew the most about the stars. One day, they saw a wild star. The Magi knew where all the stars were supposed to be in the sky. So when they saw the star that moved, they followed it, and it led them to the stable where the Christ child was. The wise men brought with them gifts for the Christ child, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Here 
is the little baby reaching out to give you a hug. He grew up to be a man and died on the cross. That is very sad, but it is also wonderful because now he can reach out and give the whole world a hug. He is not just back in this place or that place. He is everywhere and in every time. Here is the baby Jesus. Here is the Mother Mary. Here is the Father Joseph. Here is the donkey that Mary rode on. Here is the cow that was so surprised in the morning. Here is one of the shepherds and a few of his sheep. Here are the wise men, the three kings, the Magi. This is the Holy Family. Now I wonder, what part of the Holy Family do you like the best? I wonder, what part is the most important? I wonder if you have ever seen any of the Holy Family in the church or in your home. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. We are still in our green and growing days, as you can see from the cloth that the Holy Family is resting on. Next Sunday, October 4th, will be our next in-person Sunday school. If you would like to join us, we'll be doing that at about two o'clock. That day is also the blessing of the animals. If you would like to draw a picture or take a picture of your pet, you can bring that with you along to Sunday school and we'll make sure that your pets receive a blessing from Reverend Gia. If you would like to bring your pets along, have your parents bring them at the close of Sunday school and they can join us then to walk over and have our blessing from Reverend Gia over all of our family, pets, and loved animals. Next Sunday's lesson will be about St. Francis, Saint Francis, who is our patron saint of animals. I hope to see you there. Bye.